नेक्स्ट रूल सो रूल सेवन ब्रांच चेन इन साइड चेन so branched chain in side chain so in case if any substituent present on the main chain has itself branched has itself branched again then it is named as a substituted alkyl group then it is named as substituted alkyl group then we should give the numbering to the carbon chain so its carbon chain is numbered starting from the carbon atom that is attached to the main chain that is attached to the main chain and this complex substituted is written in the brackets this complex substituent is written in the brackets let us see one example for this type so let us see this example in this example so first we are actually branched chain in side chain so first we should select the longest continuous carbon chain so according to first rule we should select the longest continuous carbon chain here longest chain is so this is the longest chain from uh, this carbon to end of the carbon here totally how many carbons in the longest continuous carbon chain so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 carbons so nine carbons are present in the pay main chain or parent chain so so this is called uh, substituent so once uh, let us see this uh, example in this substituent again itself it is branched with uh, two methyl groups so this is the complex substituent because here already another chain is there and again on this chain again two methyl groups are substituted on the side chain again two methyl groups are substituted on the side chain then how to write the iupac name of this compound so this is called complex substituent so before going to write the name again we should give the numbering to the side chain also so where we should start the numbering where the carbon is attached to the parent chain or main chain so which carbon this carbon so we should give the numbering so our number will start from this carbon which carbon which carbon which is attached to the main chain or parent chain so we should start the numbering from that carbon only so here this is 1 and 2 and 3 so again in the complex substituent there is a side chain so it, it contains a uh, three carbon atoms and it is again branched with two methyl groups so these are the two methyl groups so here these two methyl groups are present on the first and second carbons of the substituent complex substituent so first we should write the name of this substituent or complex substituent so here again two methyl groups are present on one and two positions of the side chain so first here we should write one comma two these are the locants of the methyl groups 1 comma 2 di methyl so two methyl groups are present and uh, di is the prefix when we will we use the prefix if uh, same group is repeated again then we should use the prefix di so already <coughs> we explain 1 comma 2 di methyl and uh, this is the complex substituent and it contains three carbon atoms but it is also substituent so that's why here three carbon atoms means uh, this is a propyl so 1 comma 2 dimethyl propyl so this is the complex substituent name 1 comma 2 dimethyl propyl so it should be keep in the brackets and uh, total this complex substituent present on which position here so we should give the numbering for longest continuous carbon chain 
then this complex substituent is present on the fifth carbon on the main chain. So, this is on the fifth carbon. So, 5, 1 comma 2 dimethyl propyl and uh, how many carbon atoms on the longest continuous carbon chain is uh, 9. Then we should write here non n. So, here what is the IUPAC name of this compound 5, 1 comma 2 dimethyl propyl non n. So, here if a substituent in case the substituent on the parent chain has itself branched then it is named as a substituted alkyl group it is named as substituted alkyl group then it is numbered. So, the carbon chain is numbered when carbon atom which carbon atom is attached to the parent chain the numbering will start from that carbon and totally this uh, complex substituent name is written in the brackets and we should mention the position of this complex substituent on the main chain. So, that is 5 1 comma 2 dimethyl propyl. So, 3 carbon atoms in the substituent. So, propyl non-N.